my vlogs here at the moment. It's weird because this is not my favourite room. Today it's Monday. I am going to have a little bit of a day off of, not a day off of vlogging. I'm still going to like show you bits. But I'm definitely, let me close this door. I'm definitely going to have a bit of a quiet day with my thoughts today. As you can see, I've already changed my outfit from what I was wearing earlier. I'm actually just going to sit in the garden. I have a strawberry making kit that has arrived. Strawberry making, strawberry growing. Really hard for me to find strawberry seeds anywhere. So I just bought a strawberry growing kit and it's really cute. But yeah, I've had a little bit of a stressful morning. I don't know how to word this, but basically like some real GDPR violations. <laughs> and I'm just feeling a little bit like mentally exhausted because the past few weeks have just been one thing after another and it's just like I just want to be a zen human being so yeah I'm gonna sit in the garden and I'm just gonna have a really nice chill day tomorrow I'm gonna show you some bits that have arrived from H&M which I'm loving and I'm really really excited to show you so it feel like like putting on clothes today so we're gonna do that tomorrow but right now I'm in a bikini from ASOS and then this skirt is from and other stories. I love this skirt, it's so cute. I have it in black as well. And it just works really nicely for when you're like pottering, but it also works really, really beautifully with like a Zara body or kind of vest tops, stuff like that as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna have a nice chill day and I will kind of maybe chat to you a bit later, maybe see you tomorrow. I don't know how this is gonna roll, but yeah. Hello, welcome to my new vlog. It's a new week, positive vibes. I hope you all have a good week as well. Yeah, let's get into the vlog. I'm coming at you a little bit later this morning. As you all have seen, I stayed at Ryan's last night and then we came back here for a little bit, had a chat. He is going to be on, I think he's, he's being interviewed today and he's potentially gonna be on TV, which is just the weirdest thing. So he was super, super nervous this morning. So we just like had smoothies here and chilled. And I've got like a face, a half face of makeup on now. I basically just went heavy on the concealer because I have a few breakouts, which is really annoying. It was either SPF from the weekend or something I ate. I'm not sure. So I'm just gonna keep up the skin diary thing and see what we come out at because there's definitely going to be a correlation somewhere I am sure. I think I'm going to leave the skin chat there. I'm not going to talk about it too much more in the vlogs until I've got like some kind of more finite idea of what it is. I have vague ideas at the moment. There is one like whole body health concern issue that I think 
it's all interlinked with so I'm just gonna kind of wait and see if it's that but obviously time will tell and my skin diary will tell and hopefully my doctor eventually when I get to see them will tell me I'm putting off going to the doctors at the moment because I just feel like the NHS is so overwhelmed and they just don't need my like not ridiculously bad skin issues right now that's not to say you shouldn't go to the doctor for it I'm not like you know I'm just making that personal decision because I have feelings about like going to the doctors unnecessarily I'm it's just that's my issue but anyway yeah makeup is on my face I've been quite heavy on the concealer to just like try and make it look nice on camera for you guys but yeah that's been my morning and I think I'm going to show you my bits from H&M now there. very very excited there's a few bits well you will have seen one thing on instagram stories already because i couldn't not post it and i love it there's a couple of like midi dresses which are just perfect they're like my perfect dresses i'm so 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 happy with them my eyes are already leaking they're really sensitive to the sunlight the past few days i don't know what that is it's really strange like i just feel so like puffy <laughs> like you can see they're just like watering and puffing right now so i'm gonna get on with this now and we'll see where the day takes us okay so the first thing I'm actually going to show you the back of it. It's basically identical either side. I wore this last night and I managed to get my dinner on it. Mm -hmm. And I could wait to film this until tomorrow, but I just want to get this vlog up for you guys. So this is the first dress, which you will have seen on Instagram stories. I love this dress so much. It's like a knitted kind of ribbed texture and it's got different kinds of like different spacing between the ribs across the dress and i just think it gives the most beautiful shape to your body or like to the eye it gives a really really gorgeous shape so it's got these like triangle cutouts here which kind of sit around the waist it's quite a low cut so i would say if you are quite conscious of your chest area and it's not an area you like to have on show then this is definitely one to kind of proceed with caution with especially on me I, to be fair if you are taller and you have a longer chest you won't have an issue but for me because I have a much shorter chest and torso it does come down very very low on me which I don't mind because I quite like having my chest on show yeah it just all comes down to personal preference really even though it's like a more fitted fit around the top half it kind of flows towards the bottom and it's just so gorgeous so i will show you that on now it is beautiful so this is the orange dress again sorry about the mess on it but it was this or you weren't getting a h&m haul today so i love this i love the fit of it i love the way it flows it's so pretty so easy to wear I just love it. And can we also take a moment for the fact that it's basically the same back to front because that's really saved my bacon today. But yeah, I just, I love this. It is really gorgeous. I love the fit of it. I would like to try it in the lighter colour if they restock it. But part of me has a feeling they're not going to. And I actually think this colour is slightly better on my skin tone anyway. But yeah, really loving this at the moment. And the second dress, I actually tried this on this morning. I've been wearing this. This is what I've been wearing instead of this. I threw this dress on because I didn't want to wear something from the haul at the beginning of this uh, video. This is like a midi dress and these aren't like body fits, but they are like a more fitted fit. But if you didn't want them to be that way, you could easily just size up. I'm pretty sure I've gone for a small in all of these. So yeah, small. I would like blanket go for a small in H&M now. Yeah. So you could size up if you wanted it to be less fitted and maybe like pop a belt around your waist like a nice thin kind of chain belt and it could like cinch you in but just gives you a little bit more of like a flow to the dresses but this already has a little bit of room it's not like that super super fitted bodycon it's fitted but it's not super fitted and it's just the most gorgeous like kind of a, like a loose knit it just feels amazing this is one that i think both of them will carry me really well into autumn because of the colors of them but this one because of the texture will be a perfect like autumnal option for me it looks so cute with my where is my cardigan with my mango cardigan that i wear a lot uh the cream one it's kind of like oversized brown buttons my cardigan looks so good with like bodycon dresses you guys will have seen i have a black knitted kind of ribbed one from mango as well and i really like wearing that with the cardigan and these colors go really beautifully with it as well because it's that like creamy knit so this will carry me really really well into autumn and will still look really cute with a pair of like chunky lace-up boots instead of sand so I do think I still get a lot of wear out of these and they're just the most beautiful comfy dresses I love them especially if you're spending a lot more time at home they're a great option but also you could kind of like dress them up potentially if you're going back into the office I don't know if offices are ever going back this year I've kind of heard 
mix things but for a dress down friday you could kind of wear that with the leather jacket and i think it would look really cool so there's definitely a lot of ways you could wear it i think it would look gorgeous with a leather jacket and that's kind of my preferred way to style a midi dress throughout the more autumnal or spring months and oh my god i just love a midi dress you guys know this is the green dress as i said when i was doing my little chat it's not like super fitted like you can see it kind of skims my what do you call this my torso so it's not the most figure hugging but it's still really lovely and it skims my hips really beautifully and then it has this side split as well which is really really gorgeous it has a really lovely low back i just i really enjoy wearing this one it's one of those really easy simple pieces it's not too low cut around your chest so you don't feel like too exposed the orange dress is very glam because of that chest cut and the way it has almost like i don't know the ribbing on it almost reminds me of like art deco 1920s in the kind of shapes that it's kind of put into so it does feel much more glam whereas this feels much more everyday and i just love it i love the knit on it it's so beautiful and i think this one will work really well with anything from sandals to chunky boots in the autumn to even trainers like i think my gucci trainers because they have the green on them would work really really nicely with this and it looks great with my cardigan thrown on over the top as well so this is it with my cardigan on this is the one from mango that i was talking about i don't know if they still do this but i will try and find something similar but yeah i love the mixtures of the two knitted textures and i just think it works really really beautifully and works really well in the summer now but it will work really beautifully on autumn as well yeah i just think they look so cute together i also have this dress which i actually pulled out of the bag the other day hence why it's not in a plastic bag but i'm not such a big fan of this one it comes up very very high and quite thick around the neckline and it just wasn't as flattering as the other two but like i said earlier i like having my chest on show and i do think the more minimal something is around this area for me the better it looks on my figure so this is one that is a little bit more chunky on the chest area so i just didn't find it as flattering and the color as well obviously is not the most streamlining color but still a really beautiful option and i just love a midi dress so i'll show you that one now so this is the beige midi dress i was actually going to wear this on sunday which is one of the reasons it wasn't in its wrapping when i was showing you things earlier and i actually ended up going for my new in co-ord set so it's very similar but it's like a knitted ribbed top and skirt and because it's a top and skirt it cinches you in a little bit more at the waist and i ended up opting for that over this there is just something about this that is a little off and i do find it's a bit gapy here i would actually be really interested to try this in a extra small which i feel like is unnecessary for me but i would be interested to try it in that just to see if it made any difference because as you can see i'm getting the i don't know like excess here and with the knitted dresses you can't really see it so much but because of this fabric you really can so yeah i'm just not really sure on this one i might send it back i'm not 100 percent because i do like it and it's a really nice easy one for wearing around the house i just don't think it's the most flattering and i think there are others that i would opt for over it so yeah it's maybe a center backer i think maybe if i had a little bit more hip and a little bit more boob the small would be like perfect but at the moment i just feel like there's a lot of excess i don't know maybe it's meant to be like that i'll check the website but yeah i don't know it's just not my not my fave now this next item was actually the reason that i went was it the reason? I think this might have been the reason that I went on to H&M in the first place. If not, it was the orange dress because I saw it on Lauren. I think her Instagram is Lauren Grace. She is the cutest human being. If you don't follow her, you have to go follow her Instagram because she's just the sweetest human being. But she has the most beautiful Instagram I've ever seen. And she was wearing the cream version of my orange dress. And that was, I think, what started me being like, I think I want to order something off H&M. But H&M are like targeting me on Instagram at the moment because every time I go on there, there's a H&M ad. They really know what they're doing. I also found a link to the best Dior book tote bag dupe I've ever seen from them. It's in a more like jute fabric and it has like zigzags instead of the obvious dior monogram because you wouldn't do that but you can really see that vibe with it and i was just like oh my god i'm so sad this bag is out of stock i'll link it if i can find the link anyway i went on for this skirt it's like a kind of like a wrap style but it's not a wrap skirt it's got a zip on the back and it actually has a little under layer i don't know if you can see i can see it through the material but it has a little under layer kind of around here to stop it being too see-through but it's the most beautiful like i think it's this might be a linen blend. I either made that up in my brain or it was another thing I was looking at. Kind of that linen-esque fabric, but it's not a linen, but it has that kind of creasy look, which is so, so beautiful. It has this ruched section up the uh, kind of left-hand side, slightly off-center, and it is just so 
gorgeous. I thought this would look really beautiful with a black Zara body. Also just with like little vest tops, that kind of thing. And it's just a really, really gorgeous skirt. And I'll get a lot of wear out of this. I love skirts like this. I have a black one, but it's in a more satin material. I think I wore it when I was in Ibiza last year with a Zara body. So it's a look that I know that I love, tried and tested, but I do find that it's too dressy for me to like wear out all the time. So that is a really lovely casual version. This is really annoying. It doesn't fit. <laughs> So with this one, I could wear it lower on the hips. However, this isn't where it's meant to sit. I've got a size 10, which means I'm gonna need an eight because really if I want it to sit, so the slit is there, if I want it to sit at around this height, I'm gonna need it to be literally on my waist point, which is great, or even just a little bit lower. I think that's kind of cute, but yeah, it's not gonna stay like that as I'm moving around. So I think I'm gonna need to see if I can order an eight. I don't know if that'll be in stock, which is so sad. I might, I'm gonna check the stock now and see if it is available. And if not, I might just have it taken in because I do really like it. But if it is in stock, I'm definitely gonna need to order another one before I put this video Live because whenever I go to buy something after you guys have like been there it's not there anymore so so annoying because it's such a beautiful shape it's fine because I'll just either get a new one or take it in best 12 pounds I ever spent mm -hmm. okay I'm gonna break this up with something fun because you guys know I love baby Yoda I can't wait to put this on once I've finished filming and just like be around my house in this it's gonna be so great my life is complete <laughs> Finally, I have two pairs of shorts. This pair is a linen blend, elasticated waist, really gorgeous khaki material. I just thought I would get so much wear out of this. I've been really loving my white pair that I have from and other stories. I want to say I really love them, and I love them with my Zara bodies. So I thought. I would get a couple more pairs of shorts that are in a similar style. They really suit my shape and I think they suit most shapes to be honest because they've got that kind of structure around the waistline and then they're much baggier over the hip and I just think they're really gorgeous. I got these in a size small and then I also have this pair. This is a cotton pair and I just love the colour of these. These are stunning. I've got these in an eight. They do crease a little bit more but they kind of look a bit linen-y so you can kind of get away with it. I'll obviously like keep them hung up but they're really, really gorgeous. And again, I think they'd look really beautiful with a Zara body or also the knitted H&M tops I picked up. I think they would look really, really cute with those as well. Really nice and simple. So I have this one as well. I'll link them if they are still in stock. I've been wearing the nude one so much. I haven't worn the black one yet, but the nude one gets a lot of wear. It looks really, really cute with the white shorts that I have, but I think this one will also look very, very sweet with the cotton pair, potentially. Yeah. I was like, these two nudes could have very different undertones, but actually they work really nicely. This is just a little bit lighter, breaks up a little bit, which is gorge. And then the black top could go really nicely with the khaki shorts. So yeah, really excited to try those bits on. You'll already know if I like them because you will have seen most of them, but if you haven't seen the shorts yet, then I'll show you them now. Perfect. I'm really happy with these. Just a really nice, easy pair of shorts. And I love the fact that they're like a linen-y blend as well, because you can get away with them being all creasy. I feel like I will get a lot of wear out of these when I'm in the garden. I think we're meant to be having another heat wave. I know everyone that doesn't live in the UK hates it when UK people call something a heat wave, because it's just their normal weather, but it's one of the UK's heat waves. But yeah, I'll definitely get a lot of wear out of these regardless because they're just a really nice easy piece oh my god and they've got pockets yeah okay great so i thought these ones were going to be more of a risk because they didn't have an elasticated waist they just have a button and a zipper they fit perfectly which i'm so happy about because they're such gorgeous shorts they're a really beautiful length they have pockets as well when i was holding these up talking to you guys i was like looking for a pocket and i couldn't see them but yeah they have pockets and they look so cute I think this would look really nice with like a white shirt tucked into it as well. Maybe a straw hat. Can you see my straw hats? Where are they? There. There they are. Yeah, I think it'd look really cute with like my hair down, a straw hat, maybe like a white body or a white shirt. Maybe even like with a nude bikini top and a linen shirt like thrown over the top if it's nice and hot. That would be gorgeous. Oh yeah, I'm so happy with these. Can't find a pocket. There we go. By the way, this level of weirdness this morning, this is without coffee. I don't know how I'm functioning.
I have had the worst headache for most of the day. It's not getting any better. So I feel like I'm like squinting at you right now. Yeah slightly unexpected turn of events today. I thought it was gonna be so productive. Fortunately, I was very, very productive after I saw you last when I was showing you my H&M bits and I got so much done, including sorting out my deposit from my old flat. It is finally on its way back to me, which is so exciting. And I feel like in the past, a new handbag would have been on the cards, but I am definitely, like, I'm so, <laughs> I'm so excited to put that money into my savings. It's just, it, I don't know why. Why is that exciting to me? I don't know. But yeah, I literally, I'm so, so happy about it because I didn't get the whole deposit back, but it's still like a huge chunk of it, like 90, 80% of it. And it was a big deposit. I don't know why. It was basically the same as when I used to have a deposit that was huge because I had dogs, but I didn't have any dogs in the last property. So honestly, don't know but super super happy just like oh it was just such a relief to have that going back into my bank account yeah and just sorted out lots of other really boring admin life things and uh, maybe that's what's giving me the headache <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I've just been sat watching the news. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I was waiting for Ryan to come on the news and basically <laughs> BBC iPlayer is just such a pain in the bum when you're watching your local news. So I missed it. Just so annoying. But I also finished the end of The Perfect Wife. I'm not sure how I felt about the end of this. If you've read it, can you like talk to me about this? Because I had to read like the last, the chapters are really short. I had to read the last three chapters a good three times to understand and I still, I'm not 100% sure that I understand. And I've read, I've got onto Goodreads and like read other people's like theories. Like I literally like Googled like the ending of The Perfect Wife, what happened? And I'm still not 100% sure. No, I don't think, I think everyone has a different take on it by the looks of it, but yeah, it's just, it was a great read up until the final three chapters and I was like, oh, this is not what I was expecting. So yeah, that has been my day. I have a spot coming here and it's in a really awkward place and it really hurts, but maybe that's why I've got this headache. I don't know. I've also, whilst I'm standing here, realized that I didn't show you one of, or did I show you? I'm gonna show you. Hang on, let me just turn you around. Look at that beauty. I do wish it wasn't, it didn't have to be on the little like stand thingy down here, but yeah, my eucalyptus plant has been repotted and I'm just gonna keep it in here. I had a few DMs, people asking me where I plan on keeping it and I think it's gonna be in this corner for now. I really love it. I like the look of eucalyptus leaves with the color of the walls. Like I, th I think it just helps to kind of break it up a bit because everything is so gray and that bit of fluff on the floor is really annoying me god life with dogs yeah so i do i really like it and i like the stone texture in amongst this room because it does look very like polished with the gray floors and the gray walls i think it helps to just add something a bit more natural to it and then the eucalyptus leaves just look gorgeous i already have them faux on the bar but yeah i think they look really cute yeah loving that it just looks so sweet there I'm really enjoying it. By the way, if my hair looks greasy, it's because of oil of my hair, and you know your hair desperately needs a cut when um, you put oil on the ends and it's just immediately dry. Like, immediately, it's like I didn't put oil on it, which is nuts. So, I'm so excited to be reunited with my hairdresser. There's not too many things about like going back to real life that I'm particularly excited about, but seeing my hairdresser is definitely one of them. Not even for the extensions, but literally just to have my hair cut. I'm so excited. I am gonna be getting my taping extensions back in purely because I have a set already and I don't wanna like waste them. And it's like, it's a really great set. So I've got, I think it's basically a year's worth of hair in this new, new color. So basically what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna have like kind of month or so, they last, like six to eight weeks so a couple of months on and then a couple of months off and i might have it my natural hair my real hair shorter underneath so it'll be a couple of months of really long hair and a couple of months of short hair and i think it'll be nice to alternate so yeah really excited to see my hairdresser that would have a load of hair cut off because i just can't wait for it to be healthier like the under part of my hair before you get to the blonde is so thick and so healthy and that makes me so happy but yeah my real nails have fully recovered from acrylics everyone had always said to me oh i had like acrylic nails when i was younger and my nails never got better and blah blah they are the strongest i think they have ever been it is incredible so it's just really nice to see that everything that is like regrowing after what i've done to my body for the past couple of years is like coming through really nicely and really healthily. So yeah, my skin may be pants, but 
my hair and nails are doing really, really well. So really happy about that. So I think I'm gonna leave it here for today because my head is just banging. I need to just go and drink a ton of water. I've been literally drinking water so much this afternoon, but I need to just like go sit on my sofa with a huge bottle of water and just close my eyes. So yeah, I think that's gonna be it from me. I'm not sure when I will see you next because I've scheduled in some holiday. It's not an actual holiday, but just like a little bit of a break off of vlogging. So I'm still gonna be working on other things. But just like a little bit of time off camera time. And I'm excited to like do some bits around the house and then just like show you everything I've done and kind of like have a good old catch up with you. So that might be starting from Monday or from next Thursday, depending on if I get around to filming another video this week. But if not, then I'm taking a little hiatus. So I'll we'll probably see you again in about a week's time. It won't be long, it won't be long. But yeah, make sure you find me on Instagram because I will still be popping in over on there and I'll let you know when my next video is going live. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog and I will see you guys again very, 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 well, naturally, no, not very soon. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog and I will see you again after my hiatus or maybe on Monday. I love you, bye.